Hello, my name is Tiago. In this video, we are going to learn how to use Stackspot and the robot framework to automate web tests to validate its accessibility, including access and validation of the Stackspot homepage. We will also cover how to perform the initial machine setup up to the execution of the tests. Demonstrating how this tool is useful and can become an ally in your daily routine. And why do we use the robot framework? Because it is an open source automation tool based on Python. It is widely used by the automation community, including for API and web. Its syntax is easy to interpret. It uses keywords and it also integrates with Python, making it easy to work with the language's libraries. In this tutorial, we will map the Python element. To do this, we will access the initial site of TechSpot. Let's simply press Shift Control and I to open the console. Let's simply go to the console and just type document a title. To validate the element that returns the document title of the StackSpot homepage, which is crucial for our testing process. We will need this detail to perform our web automation tasks efficiently and accurately. The next step would be to create the prompt for web automation. Web automation also needs to have the Chrome driver downloaded. To download the Chrome driver, we will simply access the Chrome page here to essentially download the driver for automation. We will proceed with the download part here. All right, now, after downloading the Chrome file, we are going to move the file into the project. So I will give the MV command to move the file to the project folder. All right, it moved the folder here, the Chrome driver. This part here I will need to delete, so I don't have any problems here. I am going to rename this guy here to make it a bit more coherent. Let's call it Chrome driver and inside is the exe file which is responsible for starting the automation. And now I will create the prompt here with the support of the StackSpot plugin. The plugin is already logged in. It's on my account. Done. Here's the prompt I created. Basically, it validates the home screen of StackSpot. So here I tell the AI, here is the value of the document, title that we got in the previous step. It is based on the page to be tested, the StackSpot page. And I also tell the AI, where's the driver, the driver I downloaded. Then I already tell the AI where the driver is. I tell him that it will be a test based on the robot framework along with Selenium. So basically, I will give him this information and tell him to validate the page. Implement a test that opens the home page of StackSpot and validates the page data there. Got it? Done. Here is the response to the information I sent to the AI. And here's the code it wrote for me. I will insert it into the file I created. I will save it. And here I will give the command to start the tests. The command is the robot minus D slash logs. I will ask it to generate the logs folder in the root folder. And I also specify which file it will be based on to start the tests, which is the file test stack spot home dot robot. I will give the command. He will open the stack spot homepage and validate the folder title. Done. The test passed. There is an improvement we are going to make to the test. It's about running the test, making it execute in headless mode. So I will ask the AI, I am passing the code to the AI, and it will return the code modification with what I requested. I will ask the AI to analyze my code and return this request to me. All right, here it brought the code. I will insert it here in the code and save it. So it has already made the change here. I also asked him to remove the Chrome driver since I am running in headless mode. 
And I will give the command robot minus D slash logs to generate logs in the root of the project and also explain to the robot which test file will be executed. So it is the test check spot homepage dot robot. I will give the command to start the test. It will not open the browser, so it is already being executed. And then the test passed successfully. Now the next step is to make an improvement to this project. So with the help of quick command, which is a stack spot tool, we can make an improvement to this code and it will generate. For example, what I'm going to do in this step now is generate a readme, a documentation for the project from the selected code. Starting here, I'm going to go to the StackSpot website. I'm going to log in, log in to IA, and here I'm going to create a quick command. Here in the quick command settings, in this section, I will give it a description and provide a detailed and appropriate name. It is a mandatory field for me to give a name to my quick command. So I'm going to name a generate doc. I'm going to click Next. I am going to create a template, a basic template. So Shakespeare gives you the possibility to create a blank template or create a template with some basic information, a basic template like a hello world. With the template created, I will change the information in the template and provide context based on the selected code. OK, I'm going to give the AI some context. This variable here is from the selected code. So I'm telling the AI that I'm a developer, and I wanted to generate for me a project documentation that has the characteristics of a readme file, both from GitHub and GitLab, in short, a documentation file for the project. Here I will save. Here I can also give a name to the prompt, but I will leave it with this default name. I will click on Save and then click on Finish. There, it has been created, and I can already see it here in my quick command settings. And now I can use it here within my IDE. How do I use it now? So I will select all the code here. I will click on StackSpot AI, my quick commands, and here the generate doc command will be available. I will click on it. There will be a small wait when it starts executing the QC, run step one and two. And here is the documentation that was generated. So it generated a readme from that code I selected. So here's the response. Here is the comprehensive readme of the test application that was generated. In conclusion of the video, when we use robot framework, Due to its simple syntax and easy documentation combined with StackSpot AI, we have two powerful allies in test automation. The ability to automatically generate test scripts and the ease of integration with Visual Studio Code make this combination an excellent choice. Additionally, its quick commands functionality allows for the agile execution of predefined actions ensuring that the developer can focus on more complex and strategic tasks, thus reducing their cognitive load. I hope this video is useful and serves as a starting point for you to feel more comfortable beginning test automation with StackSpot AI. If you have any questions or suggestions, comment below. If you like the video, leave a like and share.